Hi, it's Adam Hancock from Stocks Happening here in Singapore. Welcome to this trading and investing for beginners video. Today, I'm going to explain a bit more about how the stock market works. Now, it can appear a very complicated beast. And certainly when I first got interested in trading and investing, I was kind of overwhelmed by the stock markets, all the different information, the graphs, the charts, the prices going up and down. But actually, we can simplify it quite a lot. Now, before I begin explaining, just a little point to note, stocks and shares are effectively the same thing. Some people will say they own shares in a company. Some people will say they own stocks in a company. Uh, or some people will say they own shares in a stock. It's not really worth getting too bogged down in, but I just thought I'd make that clear before we begin. Now, the stock market is kind of a broad term for a number of exchanges or indexes all around the world. For example, you might have heard of the NASDAQ in the US or the FTSE 100 in London. Now, the way the stock market works is actually pretty simple. It operates kind of like an old fashioned auction house. So buyers and sellers negotiate on the prices of shares in companies and then they make trades, hence where the term trading comes from. Now, the stock market is a broad term, but it's usually talking about one of these major indexes from around the world. And it's kind of hard to track every single stock that's listed publicly on all these markets around the world. So what some of these indexes do is they take a selection of stocks and analyze their performance. For example, the S&P 500 in the US, they're analyzing 500 top US companies um, and seeing how their performance is going. Now, if a company wants to offer out shares on a stock market, they have to make an initial public offering or an IPO. Then investors can come and buy shares, which will generate money for the company so the company can grow. Investors can buy more of these shares or they can sell them and the exchange is tracking what is happening in terms of the supply and demand for shares in the company. Now the amount of people wanting to buy or sell certain shares determines the price of the shares or a company's share price. For example, if lots of people want to go out and buy shares in Tesla, then the share price would go up because there's lots of demand there. If suddenly everyone started selling their shares, then the stock price would go down because they're having to lower the price to get more people interested in buying again because people are selling them. Now, in order to get involved in this and buy and sell shares on a stock market, it's not like going to the supermarket and just buying something off the shelf. You have to deal with a stockbroker who will deal with the exchanges and buy and sell for you. Now, back in the day, you used to have to physically go somewhere and do this, but now, thanks to the wonders of the internet, the majority of this trading is done online. Now, when you buy a share in a company, you are literally buying a small bit of ownership of that company. So what does it mean when you hear people saying that the stock market is up or down? Well, you'll hear this expression a lot. What it in fact means is that one of the indexes or exchanges, for example, the NASDAQ or the um, FTSE 100 is up or down. So for example, the S&P 500 in the US is up. Um, the index is averaging the 500 ma major US companies on an exchange. Every day, the share price of each company will be up or down. For example, a company may suddenly announce that they have a successful trial for a coronavirus vaccine. Everyone thinks, great, that's a really good company, and they'll go out and they'll buy shares and the share price will shoot up. Another company in the S&P 500, however, will say, have a really bad day. Maybe they'll announce lots of job losses. So everyone will be selling their shares in that company because they don't think it has a good future and the share price will go down. This is just two companies out of 500 and every day they're going up and down. So the S&P 500 is averaging out what is happening to all of these companies in its index every day. And then, for example, they'll average it all out and give it as a percentage. So it could be 0.26% up or it could be down 4%, but they can also give it out as points as well. So you can see here the S&P 500 is at 3,112.35. And it's down today 10.52 points. For individual stocks, a point equals a dollar. For example, here, a share in Best Buy is $79.92, and it's down $2.30 today. But for a big index like the S&P 500, a point still represent dollars, but it's not on a one-to-one -one ratio. There's a complex mathematical formula which works out a weighted average for all the companies, i.e. they add up all of the stock prices of all of the companies and then divide it by this number to work out how things are performing. So you might hear that the S&P 500 is up by a certain number of points. That just means that the average they are using to calculate how the companies are performing is up by this point or down by that amount. You can also give it as a percentage as well. So basically, 
points are analyzing the performance of individual stocks in terms of dollars or on one of these bigger averages like the Nasdaq or the FTSE or the Dow Jones. It's analyzing the performance of all of the companies involved. So I hope this has made things a little bit clear. The stock market is where companies list shares in their organization or their company. Then people can either buy these shares or sell them in trades and it will affect the share price of the company. And the share prices of each individual company also reflect on the wider index that they are trading on. So for example, the share price of one company in the US can affect how the S&P 500 index is performing. Now, there's plenty more of these trading and investing for beginners videos to come. I, if you've enjoyed this one, please do give us a like and subscribe. And if there's anything in particular that you really want to know about, please do leave us a comment and we'll look to make more videos tailored to exactly what you need to get involved in the world of trading and investing. <laughs>